Welcome everybody to Command Combat Battle Reports, and today we have Steel Division 2, and we are going to be doing the historical battle, and with me for the historical information is Cliff. Hello, how you doing? And with me for the humor, as always, is Troy. Troy, be funny. Uh, uh, okay, so a German, a Russian, and an American walk into a bar. That sounds like a, that sounds like a pretty bad joke. All right, let's go on to no, what, what, what? the joke. It, it, it's oh. never mind. All right, here we, so we got uh, actually this is like I say historical battle. It's happening near Minsk. It's happening in 1944, uh, and it's basically in the as we were talking about the, the central, central uh, army group centers area of uh, operation. So Germany had like Army Group Center, Army Group North, how was it? Army Group North, Army Group uh, Center, Army Group South. And is that kind of the, with the Russians as well or? Well, they don't call it, uh, um, they don't call them Army Groups, they call them Fronts. And this is, um, this is probably the minsk Bryansk Front. And is probably commanded by Field Marshal Rokozovsky. Um, and uh, Center was commanded by I don't know if it's in 44, but Gunter von Kluge had uh, commanded Army Group Center, and uh, he was he was one of the one of the Germans that believed no matter how much army, how many Russians are out there, they can never beat a German. Mm. So yeah, so the Germans think that they're super elite. The Russians are uh, just gonna uh, try to push through them, I guess. Well, the the, the German. Uh, the German way of saying how to beat the Russians is this, uh, to beat the Soviets is let them run past you, then kick them in the ass. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so that was the German strategy against the Russians? It's but... called uh, either on the backhand or on the forehand. Was, uh, you know, when they when they would come by, you'd give them the backhand and, ah. and push them off. And, and on the forehand, is you would strike first. And so they they have a whole lexicon of how they tell with the Russians. Kind of how I deal with my nephews. Yeah, basically. Mm. So it was basically the honeymooners approach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that one of these days, Stalin. One <laughs> of these days, pow! I think uh, right uh, in the keister. I think von Kluger was probably one of the writers for the honeymooners. <laughs> and, and that guy von, von Kluger. Yeah. Von Kluger? <laughs> a little known fact about him is uh, he preferred to be called Fred. <laughs> That's right. So let's look at Fred's army. Here. No, actually, that would be the Germans. This is this is uh, Jeremy's army. Uh, that's the Ivan's army. There we go. All right. So we have over here. They have. Uh, well, you can see that they have. Man, I'm sorry. The, the cameraman is drunk. The camera work on this particular uh, uh, game is a little bit uh, tricky. Anyway, so uh, they've got motorized uh, res resvedka. Uh, I, for, forgive my um, mispronunciation. It means jeep. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. It's jeep. It's got uh, it, it when it has the binoculars there. It means it is um, scout. Yep, scout. one of the scouts, one of the uh, recon. And so you can see they got it there. They got one in the front here, backed up by uh, another jeep. Although that's um, that mo looks more like it's uh, some kind of infantry in there uh, because it's got a little guy on there. Then a couple of armored cars, or yeah, two armored car vehicles with, uh, or I mean, armored carriers with troops in them, and then in the back you got uh, Sherman would be with the Lynn lease program. Yeah. And then back here you've got a... Uh, half track. Half looks track. Like... Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yes, that looks like a half track. Yeah, half track carrying... Oh, although actually it's not got the tracks, it's... Uh, That's just a regular truck. Truck, it's got... But it's Boring. got a mortar. <laughs> it's got a mortar in it. Uh, over here we've got the anti-air, which is a truck. Actually, didn't the Russians use trucks a lot? Oh, yeah. Because since... Because of the Lend Lease program, the German, the Russian army, by the 1944, was the most mechanized force in the world. All right. Well, although they have, I, I, oh, here we go. Here are their half tracks. And this is more of the Lend Lease uh, program, our program, the Lend Lease um, vehicles. And they it looks like they have infantry in all of those, and they've got they're being led by more of those scouts or uh, the um, recon, as I was saying, mm -hmm. and another Lend Lease uh, Sherman. They their goal is to cross this river, and get they have to capture two points. One is kind of in this area uh, up here, and the other area is back here. Uh, it was sort of, I think if you go back, maybe it no, it doesn't show it on here. Anyway, it was about this crossroads here, and like right around this crossroads here is where the Russians are trying to take. The Germans are going to try to hold them with. They've got anti tank gun, uh, grenadiers there, probably their commander there. Actually, you can just kind of see it really visually. Just kind of shows you. You got the machine gun there, 
Uh, they, they've got the anti-tank gun still mounted with its vehicles. So you can see behind it, that it'll have right there. Uh, and that is, I'm not sure if, if what the pounder that is or how big that is, but oh, there we go, 37 millimeter, pack 36, there we mm -hmm. go. Uh, and then they have over in this area, you've got the machine gunner with some infantry. Machine gunner's hidden. Looks like they, these guys with the anti tank guns are uh, covering this bridge for anybody that goes across. So, like the trucks try to go across or whatever, and the machine gunners as well. So, it looks like they really have this bridge protected against anything that goes across it. And this bridge just has a machine gun with some infantry, <clears throat> but the armor can get across. And then over here, looks like they're less immediately protected, but they do have that anti tank gun there. One thing that. Uh... Uh, people don't know is uh, I don't know if it's even in print, but Stalin's financial advisor, uh, advisor back then, uh, Boris Stanislav, who wrote an autobiography some years after the war, <clears throat> talked about the fact that he advised Stalin not to lease the equipment because he warned Stalin that the Americans would charge him for every little ding and scratch and for extra mileage. Uh, when he went to trade it in at the end of the lease. Uh, and, and history shows he was right. Uh, the Americans uh, who sent over, there was an entire entire core of nothing but used car salesmen that uh, the U.S. put into force after the war. And uh, uh, it, cost, it cost Stalin billions. Yeah, and he had put probably put his credit card on there so they, they already could just charge it right yeah, away. Yeah, you know, it's funny to this day, you know, because he's so well preserved, uh -huh. uh, Stalin there in his casket, to this day he still receives past due notices. Oh, so, God, yeah, yeah that I get those myself. And I'm, I'm preserved in the... Uh, he's on he's on the 137th collection agency. Oh, <laughs> man. Says they will not let him go. Oh. <laughs> that, that is... It sucks to be stolen some days. Good but... luck getting a, a mortgage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Cliff, what do you think would be the best strategy here for the Russians? How do, how do you think with what they have, they should get across that river? Well, the best thing you can do, if they've got any air power, and I don't know if they do, is to knock out that heavy tank gun right over there. On the floor. From this side? That looks like an 88. <laughs> oh, let's see here. Uh, it should say 37 millimeters oh. there. Do they have an 88 here? No, uh, not yet, but they do know they have 88s around. This is what it looks like uh, in here. Oh, it's in a bunker, though. Okay. So they are ready. And this is all hidden movement, so they don't, you know, the Russians don't necessarily see it right now, but I, I see your point. The air power may be able to go in there and find them. Yeah, it can go in and. So the uh, only thing they could, they could do. If they if they don't want to risk their armor right off the bat going over that bridge, they're gonna to have to secure one of those bridges with infantry first, and uh, to get their armor through. Now, if they're smart, they will follow uh, the same strategy that uh, America's own General Washington um, uh, took in taking LaGuardia Airport from the British during the Revolutionary War, and that he'll he'll cross the river at night with air support. Right, right, exactly. You know, get across that river, just like that famous painting of uh, Washington crossing the Delaware and attacking With the airport. With the 10 warthogs. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, back then, of course, they were made out of paper mache, but the principle was the same. <laughs> right. Well, the, the, it was very hard to reload the muskets in those planes, though. Yeah. No, they had those new, those... Uh, those uh, revolving cylinders in their in their planes. Gatlin, oh, so yeah, they, it was well. It was called they were called puckle guns. Puckle yeah. guns, <laughs> and 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 the the uh, the progenitor of the A ten Warthog back in the Revolutionary War, just like the Warthog today, was basically an airframe built around a gun. Right, right, right. Exactly, exactly. Which right. is which is why. Which is why the uh, Revolutionary War's uh, ancient warthog was surprising like a horse. Uh. <laughs> so as we're chatting, the, the uh, Russians Scouts. and the Germans just, yeah, the scout just passed by oh, one of their half tracks. We're still doing this. So they okay, they've, yeah. got, they've gotten across the bridge. <laughs> well, they, they're crossing it okay. at this moment, going right on that jeep. Yep, right yep, back. Oh, and yep. he just got knocked out yep. by the <laughs> AT gun. <laughs> God damn 405! <laughs> and now the, uh, the, the infantry is all moving over here. Yeah. Uh, you have that right. Oh, the German, uh, who was it, uh, uh, mortar got back there okay. with their truck 
That's just getting parked back there in that Russian and building. And so he's going to stand back there. And well, as they try to line up, if there's a bridge over there, he's going to be lining up on the end of the bridge to, to knock them out. He knock out one of those, one of those tanks. And when those trucks is gonna is gonna log jam everybody else. It's very interesting that he went behind enemy lines to do it. Meanwhile, the Russians are they moving some of their infantry across here. Yeah, they certainly are. I mean, the scout car saw it or the recon saw it, but oh, now they're going in for a swim. They're all somehow they're. Oh, they've, look, they've been chased they, into the water. They've been trying, but look at it. They're running across the water. They're all Jesus. <laughs> it's all Russian Jesuses. They can all run on water. All right, these guys are going across. They get hit by machine gun fire. Uh, and now you have a Sherman on the bridge. Yeah, tank coming from there. And, I'll let, and he's going to try to plumb, knock down whoever's out over there. He's going to People don't to the, realize we have a brand new version of the Sherman tank now. What's that, what's that? Well, that's what Trump said. Oh, that, oh we do? That at the July 4th parade, there was going to be uh, brand new Sherman tanks. Oh, wow. They're, oh, my God. Well, I'm sure those will be better than uh, everything yeah. that we've had since then. By the way, this uh, Sherman up against a Tiger E that's right there. Jesus God. So yeah, the Tiger is up there with Wait a, a minute, I thought I thought Germany would make two of those. Hmm. Tigers? Tiger E's. <laughs> oh. Were those the giant ones at the very end that they were like trying to throw anything they could at? It? Oh no, no, that's uh what are those called? Those were, like, oh, and it looks like air, air power. power. Yep. There we go. Took it up. Yep, they know what they're Yo, oh, yep, they did. They, yeah, that would made it exactly what you said they should do. Bring in their air power. Now the Sherman's able to get up there and is firing down into the town from above. Mm -hmm. So to look at it from the out, uh, outer area here, you can see that the, Ger the Russians have made it across this bridge, yeah, are struggling with the middle one, although they apparently can run across water there. And then way over here, the infantry is trying to get across that bridge, but they are getting shot down. They need their air power there, too. By the Finland, yeah. In oh, fact, oh, and they're getting hit with artillery ah. fire. That it's bridge is clearly oh not ADA compliant. There's no wheelchair ramp. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, and this Which oh, could have made the difference this there is if uh, Germany had taken the opportunity to build those ramps. Because by this time in the war, really half of the German army was handicapped. No. I, oh, yeah. and it's the mortar that got behind. They're yeah. firing uh, at them from behind. Yeah, it's the mortar because they can't find him and he's in wrong he's in the place where they're not expecting him and he's aiming at the end of that bridge yeah you know that is one problem that they, you know recon saw them but then the recon went across this bridge and got destroyed so he was never able to report back yeah. hey and so now nobody no, oh and now somebody's yep he's over here going hey we're tired of you yes firing at him from, it is interesting this is like the opposite direction from the way the russians used to go i've never seen somebody use that strategy of like I'll put my artillery behind the enemy lines. Well, see, these 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 pieces, these guys can pick up and move, and that's the thing about it. They get in a truck, drive away, and set up in one place, and set up in more than one place. Their mistake was staying there, firing three shots. Yeah. They should have fired one or two, and moved, and uh, keeping the enemy from knowing exactly where they were. And now they're dead. And so. The Float Russians. like a butterfly, sting like a Bolshevik. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Now the Russians have, have gotten up here and are ready at that bridge, and they're going to try to make some other setup. The Germans have moved across with a machine gun over here. Now, now they're actually on the Russian side again. Mm -hmm. uh, they, the, this bridge is secured, but the Russians ha and the Russians are still struggling getting through here. But they have made it all the way through here. Look at this. They have all of those tanks now set up here on this bridge, firing down on the town. Now the problem is, if those guys can keep them over there, keep those other bridges from, uh, from crossing, those guys in the rear over here at the back have a chance to rally yes. and come after them. Because they have they need to secure both of them, all of those bridges and push the Germans back and split them in half. And uh, that way they can uh, crush the small. This is a very common Soviet strategy. Soviets And they still are, aren't they? I mean, it, isn't that the, the plot of every John James Bond movie? Yeah. The yeah. tank just took down a tree. Well, that's what tanks do. It's, it's deforesting. <laughs> yeah, that's true. He's going to hide in the big ones of buildings. Yeah. Well, like, or he's, maybe he's not going to hide among maybe he's, he's just not going to even stop. Yep. Don't even stop. He's like, no, I'm going right through your fence, buddy. 
like the Russians now have two bridges. They have secured this bridge and this bridge, and the Russians are, or the Germans are starting to fall back. They didn't quite get in the middle, but they did uh, push up two of the fronts, and they are managing to make the Germans pull back a little ways. Uh, they've not secured that bridge or that bridge, and they, the Germans now have a machine gun out front in the woods there. The Russians he has, don't... hasn't fired yet. He's going to try to let them get on that bridge and start ch chopping them up. Yeah, and see if they maybe stumble on them or something. Uh, and of course, the Germans are, or the Russians are too worried to go across that bridge. And instead, they're exchanging some fire with some machine guns. Oh, two machine guns on one infantry. Yeah, no, they're not going to get up across that bridge with just infantry. So, what's over here? There's another bridge over there that has nobody guarding it. Whoop! There they are. There's the Germans. They're ready to move. Oh, That's this is the main. Okay, this is, I thought we were somewhere else. Yeah, this is that main bridge that right across. Yeah, they, they they're going to have trouble getting across there. Oh, here's where I, I we were before, and then there's some people having difficulty in the cross, but of course they've got this machine gun watching it, and then here, yeah, is where you have, yeah, they're so well guarded with all the anti-tank, machine gun fire. Yeah, just like you said, you would have to have air power come in here, or artillery taking those out, and there's a lot of them. They, they seem like the Germans have everything there protecting that, and hardly anything protecting, you know, This the must be their line of retreat. Yeah, because I think down this, this right. trip here. Who's that coming? That's the Germ Russian... Russian fighter plane. planes and a uh, German fighter plane behind it. And he got shot down by the German planes. Oh! Airplane. That had to be a storm event. Oh, and they, the Russians have gotten some infantry through, and they are now at this uh, at the crossroads. They're inside one of the buildings. I wonder if they're going to have a uh, change of fire or if they're just going to try to stay These guys are probably forward, or forward observers trying to lay down with them. Figure out where these guys are so they can call in artillery. Unfortunately, they know where they are. They know where they are. And they don't have a lot of support. They're there with. They're by themselves. All by themselves. Man, yeah, the tanks There's haven't even gotten up there another yet. Another storm of it coming. Yeah. Yeah. Was it, uh, was it the Normandy squad? Well, let's see. It says, yeah, Normandy. Yak yeah. Nine. Yeah, these are French pilots. Oh, oh, okay. The French are helping the Russians here, huh? Yeah, this is this one of the squadrons, uh, a squadron, a French squadron that served with the uh, Soviets. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. They were outfitted with Russian planes. Yep. Huh. The ones are the old ones. Uh, they're using Yap threes. This is this is the top of the line. Ooh, the crew got knocked out by this uh, anti-tank gun that's right here. Oh, yeah. This is the one of them is inside. Of the, oh, it's the back of they're firing out of the back of that. Um, yeah, the outhouse, exactly. It's the backside, it's, that's why they knock them out. And here's one of the, the Shermans going by, but he does not see that there's an anti tank gun right behind him. He's coming at him. He, in that he is just parking right there, right in line of this ah, anti tank gun. Line of sight, too. Yep. Oh, or did he get behind the building? Oh, yeah, no, he's that. He, uh, boy, you can see just a little bit of that front fender. Oh, oh, really? oh I scratched the fender on my tank. <laughs> oh, here. I don't know if they can hear you. They need to hear your smart ass uh, comments there. Oh, there's Hi, this is Troy. I have a smart ass. He, he does. It's Unfortunately, it uh, only speaks in parts. <laughs> It's a, uh, it's, it's an underappreciated language. <laughs> uh, only, uh, only perfectly spoken by, uh, by people like Bart Simpson, who is the Shakespeare of the Oh my the god, they, they, they're going, they're, cr they're created a salient. Yes, it, well, in fact, it's interesting, the Germans have made it just with the Grenadiers and this anti tank gun, which one of the Germans is driving right up into it. Oh, it looks like the... Oh, he doesn't see it. He went right by the bunker. He's going after the infantry. But does is that any like a dog gun? after a rabbit? Oh, he just ran right by it. Apparently, I, I don't know if it's still. Yeah, it's it does look still there. What's that? Yogi, I think we're lost. Cab, yeah, we're making great time. <laughs> oh, Yogi's just been yep taken down. 
I thought we had some anti tank guns in one set of That's what happens when a, a single tank goes driving down the middle of the road. And it's driven by, by a Hall of Fame baseball player. <laughs> yep. Oh! Airstrikes. Airstrikes. That is, that's a, that, oh, there we go. Artillery from. Wow, that's a nice range of artillery. Yeah, well, and yeah, the, art, the artillery really. How far would the artillery be able to shoot? Well, these are Katushas. Yeah. Uh, I would imagine at least a few kilometers. Yeah, tell us about the Katushas there. Uh, Basically, it's just a point and shoot rocket, that's all. Oh, yeah? It's, oh, one of the ones you see old footage of? Yeah, it's and it's just it's like, it's yeah. It's yeah. yeah. like watching fireworks. Yeah, it's a point and shoot. You just you throw enough and you hope you hit something. Yeah, it's, it's for area bomb bus. You don't, you don't try for accuracy. You just throw a whole bunch of them in one area, and it's going to kill whatever's in that area. And yeah. here's some uh, some of the one of the mortars firing a long way, pinning yeah. down a lot of the infantry over here. So that looks like, although it looks like they're kind of hitting them, but not really following up with anything because you can't drive anything pretty fast in here because. Now the Germans have reinforced that machine gun with some infantry, so they're actually having a bit of trouble going through yes. there, so that artillery really isn't helping anybody. But it looks like they they went with some infantry forward. Into the woods, letting these guys come along the road and ambush them. Yeah, it looks like that, although they have some of them in the woods. Well, the infantry would have gotten off the trucks and come out of the yeah, they flush them out, however, you know, up against the machine gun, it doesn't even matter how many numbers you have, that machine gun's in there. I mean, well, I guess that is a Russian strategy, though. It's like, well, they have a machine gun, okay, well, that has, what, a thousand bullets? You send a thousand and one men after them. All right, so now they're going to try to get across this bridge again. And one shot. Yeah. One shot from the yes. anti-tank gun. Yeah, they're sitting right there, right there on that bridge. Ranged in, probably rehearsed, practiced mm -hmm. on yeah. that. That's what the Germans would do. They would, they, they had these areas out now with the right in the middle of the bridge, so then it's stuck. There's no way to get across. They have to come and push the tank off. Right, so yeah, now they won't be able to do right because, as you can see, he's burning right in the middle. That's a truck now. That's a truck. It's going to be a little bit hard off with a tank. Yeah, the tank will push it down, but that's what you want to get on there, a tank. And then, if you're not going to be able to push that off easily. Challenge accepted. All right, now you have a little air battle going on up here. The Russians are trying to take the yep, and they took down one of the German bombers. Bot fighter bombers, that is. All right, well, over here, it looks like the Russians have pushed forward enough, and look at this. They have a whole line of their Shermans up on this hill overlooking the town. Okay, they're going to do a complete area bombardment. Yeah, firing down on a lot of that infantry that's passing by. And it looks like... Now, I mean, they have that area secure over there. Oh, and come, artillery's coming down, so they're just going to completely get rid of that tail. Yeah, the mortars firing down on them there. So, once they've completed that, they, of course, have one of their objectives, because this is sort of the area of the one objective, and then they can push forward to the other one over there, which, I, you know, one of, the, I guess, the advantages of them trying, the Russians trying to get across that bridge, is the fact that it is keeping a lot of the, the Germans over there. Uh, it, of course, is being done at the uh, sacrifice of a lot of Russian men, but, yeah, once again, it's, it's Russian soldiers, that's kind of that's their thing. And here's another interesting thing, the French soldiers fighting on both sides of this battle. That's right. Yeah, it's true, because here you had the, oh, and there comes a shot I think, is it from the AP gun, or that might have been, they have, they have some Tigers, there's the Tigers over here. He's reloading that's and he's got that's a fire. A, that's a Tiger. Oh! That's a tiger. Those Shermans are chilling. Yeah, it is. And they're, they're not going to even hurt it with that thing. Yeah, they're shooting at him, and uh, and you saw some artillery go down on him, but... It's mortar shell. It's not strong enough to go through that armor. Yeah. The only way to get through that armor is they have to hit that tank right on the top, and yeah. they'll go through. That's, then it's, that's the weakest point of its armor. On the top of the turret? Yeah. And yeah, you can see that those, the, he's been hitting some of the Shermans up on the hill. Those, the Shermans had to get off that hill. Yeah, they're, they're, they're just, they're toast. Yeah. They're toast. That tank hits it, they're done. So now the, yeah, the unfortunate thing about the Sherman tanks, they have about as much punch as a 10-year-old girl. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, have you met my sister? You see a small girl. <laughs> 
All right. Well, it's yeah. I, I, I should check out some other parts of the battlefield there, but this is interesting. The Shermans are clearly making one of their classic Sherman runs around the Tiger. They're trying to get to its rear, get to get the fuel. Yeah. Now, now tell us about that. Is it you, you took how many Shermans to go against a single Tiger usually? <laughs> we take a lot of Shermans to go against. There's a famous battle by uh, uh, Michael Kisman who took out 22. Sure. By himself. Ooh. Yeah. But the tactic was exactly what you're saying here. They had to outflank him. Yeah, they have to outflank him. They Shermans to... were a Shermans were a were a strategic they were, tank. They were cavalry. Yeah, because you could do the end around and the greatest way to to take out a oh. panzer division was to separate it from its supply chain. Yeah. And look at that, he just took out all of the Shermans that went around. Yes. He got the last one. He just sat there. And he just sat there. Down. And, and sat there and wiped me right in the open and took them apart. Because there's no way a, turn, a Sherman can head on fight can defeat the Tiger. The yeah. interesting thing is, is that uh, uh, the Sherman oh, family sent more than 20 letters to the uh, War Department demanding that they take the name off that. Yeah. Tank. yeah. You know, and here, yeah, you can see that I was wondering what the tiger was looking at. It's this one single Sherman that survived that is like, screw you, I'm going to Albuquerque. Yeah. Oh, and they just got their engine destroyed by, it looks like an anti tank gun that's back yeah, there. So these and the armor crack. So whoever is playing, is playing that, uh, playing the Russian side, in my personal but accurate opinion, uh, misused the Sherman tanks in this scenario. So the only question you put is how much of a total jackwad was the Russian player at this point in this game? <laughs> well, apparently he didn't know what he was doing. I can't imagine who that would have been. <laughs> he, but I, I bet he—I bet he really smells good. I'm, I'm guessing that you know we'll obviously not say who was playing the Russians at this point. <laughs> he, he's a very handsome guy, I hear. He, but he lacks in uh, tactical ability. He makes up for it in his awesome looks. <laughs> oh, here's a, oh, well, it was going to be an EMCHA, you know what that is? Oh, nah, this guy, he just got it. Did I notice, oh, here we go, it was an anti, yeah, it was one of these guys. Oh, here's a marker. Yeah, yeah, it's M A R D E R. I think yeah. it might be a caster though, German. But anyway, all right. Well, they made a push, but now the Germans have made a push back, and they've re uh, re uh, established their bulge, which is you know. You know what the sick thing is, and I say this as we're going along here. This is this is just to put this in context of how far we've come to the military. One predator drone. <laughs> and you yep. probably have just said, look down from high above and said, oh, I know what to do here. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking about the uh, reestablishing their bulge as being the latest uh, uh, porn film. Yeah. And today, this kind of battle could be totally created by peeps and so a UAV control truck. I don't know. I mean, then again, I was sitting back comfortably, uh, sitting a latte while running this, and I somehow got a lot of Sherman tanks killed. I mean, someone who was playing the Russians got all their Sherman tanks destroyed. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, and look at the infantry He's pulling back. He just got fired at by enough uh, German. Oh, and they went right through a gate. These Russian soldiers are amazing. They can run on water. They can run straight through gates. Or oh, that was one of Jesus' abilities, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly. And and lo, he walked through the gate. <laughs> or he walked through the fence. The side of the gate. Yes. Ah, and there he goes again! Wow. Wow, we don't want to disparage the publisher of this game. But come on! <laughs> come on! Ooh, oh, look at that! Nice. Okay. Publishing the game did kind of make up for itself as all. A lot of dead Germans here. Yeah. Lots of dead Germans. A lot of dead French Germans. However, now here comes the here comes the uh, tiger. Tiger. And he's taking down more of those fences. And he's supported by plenty of infantry, so they're not going to be able to just go up with a uh, bazooka. Tiger, tiger, tiger. There's a there's a Russian movie. 
called white tiger, uh-huh. and it's and it shows that these uh, these uh, these Russians when they're they're uh, their uh, T thirty four is going up just one tiger, and it becomes legendary because it's, they're afraid of it because it it never it, it, they won't it won't let them get past where they're going and they, they come on a large group of this one tiger sister and picks them off mm-hmm. one by one and, one by one. and then it slowly moves back into the forest but just back back up. Again. And they said, this is just one soldier just by the pool, turn off his tank, and he's like, He can't, but it, it, his armor, even, you know, even though it has slow armor, the, the journey will get right between the armor, the turn turns, yeah. and the body, the little thing. Pop the turn. Pop the turn. Oh, okay. We have to figure that. I mean, the Germans were pretty clever that way, weren't they? Yeah. They were 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 and they would wait for it to come up, and they were 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 yeah, yeah. So they could stay in one place and, and not be. See, they were thinking about it. They would, you know, just, oh, yeah, they got it. 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 They got This guy. This guy. Are you saying he's better than. Oh, it's the down too. Are you saying he's better than the Russian player? I'm not going to disparage a Russian player at this point, but you're going to have to get this thing with something more to play. Yeah, even like that, okay, the airplane's going after it, but now with bombs, it looks like a it's cannon. Yes, yeah, cannon, 30 millimeter, 30 millimeter cannon, they can really do this. Yeah. Yeah. Which, by the way, developers, publishers, very cool add-on. <laughs> oh, there's came down with something on it, but it caused it to actually pull back. Yeah. And somehow I have finally figured out how to make the camera just follow one of the vehicles. I've been trying to do for a while now. Somehow I accidentally did. And that guy's taking down fence after This community is going to be very upset. Except for the fence guy. The yeah. fence guy, yeah, he's going to be. Yeah, the fence guy. Hey, Take that more! Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, a lot of work. Oh, yeah. The guy's actually shooting at the airplane now. He's smoking. He's smoking. He's got it. He's smoking. Yeah, he's smoking. Oh, he's just the uh, ground yeah, the 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 all the kids come in. Something in. These guys have no respect for the Oh, he's got to something. Yeah, bad. Let's see what the uh, where we are. Well, they've been pushed back. The yeah. Germans, the Germans put, and this guy's been sprinted over here. Oh yeah, I think that's the truck. That's the milk truck just surrendered. Oh. He's, okay. And he's on fire. Oh, or maybe it was just simply that he was putting out the white flags to be like, come here, kids! But the Germans are falling back. Yeah. Ice cream, half-track ice cream truck. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I'm surprised, though. It looks like they have some vehicles still here. Oh, you know what? I think that was just uh, an error. It was like showing where they were trying to move to or something. Because it, it, sometimes you'll see like it looks like a ghost. It means that they selected to move there or something like that. Anyway, it looks like, okay, the German the Russians are pushing, in, pushing yeah. forward and they have five more tanks again up against that tiger. I'm surprised the tiger's letting him do that. He's like, he's, he's pulling, pulling he's saying it's a trap. Oh my god, what the, something hit it. That was the tiger. Oh, it was, it's the, it was looking the wrong way. It was probably trying to they retreat. Got, they got him. Got a lucky hit in the back. So now there isn't anything to stop no, the Russian push. No, there's nothing to stop him. 
Yeah, at least not right in front of me. You can see the Germans are starting to bring in their reinforcements, but the Russians are pushing well, forward. Well, now I have to change my mind officially and say that the German player was a doomcock. <laughs> and he lost another airplane. Yeah, 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 a lot of airplanes going in now. So now it looks like they, I was thinking, okay, they do need to get going on one of these other bridges because they can't just keep going back and forth there. It looks like they have this. What oh, is that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a tank. Yeah, it's a tank. It's a Russian heavy tank. That's what got the tank. Oh, oh that's, yeah. a, that's a heavy, that's a tank. That's that a was hundred, essentially that's a hundred and twenty mobilized, mobilized artillery. Yeah, that's a hundred and twenty gun on that tank. That's yeah. a bad thing. You gotta so, turn the whole tank to get that. Yep. Really, although they're, they're they're right by oh just machine guns, so that's not gonna hurt them. Yeah, what was the crew on that? It's a pretty good board. Five. What is it, five? Yeah. Yep, gunner. How many more than one of the gunners you have? Oh! A T gun, took them out. Took out the tank killer? Yep, yeah, right here. Yeah. And it was yeah, it was the H uh, that one that's this guy yeah. right here is gonna get a gold like, what is yeah. it cross? Uh, the German Iron cross, cross Iron Cross because Iron Cross first class. Yeah, because he has just been knocking them out from every uh, direction. And you yeah. can see they the Russians have tried to make some more pushes see, here. See yeah, he, he, they pile them up on the bridge. Yep. They, 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 that bridge's closed. Uh, that one's closed. Yeah, they're not gonna do with any more tanks. So you can see it was three tanks. In the truck, one, two, three, four tanks. Four tanks in the truck. Tried to get through there. Unfortunately, I wasn't. It is like an accident on the 405. Yeah, exactly. And you can see that they have a couple of them there. The Russians have, but they're they're not going to be able to do anything. So they need, need to just go, you know, go after this bridge here. Because right now, look at the Russians have gone back up on this hill, trying to go down across there. They're getting, they're getting hit by those the anti tank guns. Right, because he wouldn't be getting taken down by these. Uh, although they are starting to take out their their um, artillery and uh, the mortar. Uh, you can see there's continuing this rain down terror on them. So is the biggest mistake of the Russian player uh, not using the air power to help them do that? Well, whoever they're doing, they're doing it. He's using the they use much more right? Yeah. And they you know, what he's did what he should be using to kill tanks was a storm of them by the gas. The gas are basically air superiority. Oh! Yeah, the Russians do have one of their the ISE one fifty two. Yeah. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a tank killer there. Yeah. Yeah. Although one hmm? I was going to say, yeah, I mean, it didn't have a current gap facing the target. But because of, like you said, it's a 120 millimeter yeah. cannon. Yeah, whatever yeah, it is. It's a gap based version of an A 10 warthog. Yeah, it'll take out a Titan straight up. Go yeah. right through its little arm. Right. Oh, here comes more of it. The, <laughs> there's that glorious. I, and like normally, I'm a peace-loving guy in real life, but I have to say this looks impressive. Especially this falling back, falling back, falling back, bend down. Yep. Oh, and there's that big gun, the one twenty mm -hmm. Oh, well, it's a little bit And yeah, that just I. Little Oh, little Little And then now there are three tanks still left for two streams. Still left going around. You can see there's another one of those tigers. They're going after them again. They're trying to run around their flank. The big, the big gun. That's true, the big, big, although the big gun's way back there. Yeah, they are very slow. <laughs> yeah, that is one thing. You're not going to get all those glorious charges. So, oh. Here's a picture of two people through tables. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he could have made a difference in those guys. Yeah. 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 Stick. Right. Stick. 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 Alright, so it looks like they're getting, they got behind the tiger, but now there are a bunch of buildings between them and the tiger. That's a good thing. It is, unless they're trying to destroy the tiger. I think they tried to get behind it to destroy it. Unfortunately, the tiger now 
is uh, escape from them, and there is only. Well, if he has, if they, if they, if they, if they oh. set this up right, they could get the uh, get the uh, tank for it. I the dirty work on the trees. I love how that one tank was directed right down one of the fence lines. It was like he had something against that fence. And, oh, they're going right on by. They're just like, screw this. We're, we're heading out of here. Actually, I think they're trying to open up. See, the and this is what the Sherman was best at. Yep, getting around behind. Getting, it was real. It was compact. It could go places that the big tanks could go. Yeah, and it could cross bridges yep. that the Tigers couldn't cross. Yeah. Right. And it was excellent in, like you say, being armored cavalry. Outflanking and wreaking havoc in the rear area of your opponent. Except when that rear has an anti tank gun which has been lighting him up. See right it's there. Oh, well, somebody got hit. He got back though. He got hit back. Right back, yeah. He got 75 millimeters. Yeah, against tanks, the 75 millimeter isn't quite so great, but against infantry. Yeah, I can, really, I can see they've got, they're, they're right in the, the rear of all of that infantry. It's basically going to go try to clear off that bridge, but it's kind of too late because, oh no, this is the other bridge, this isn't the, mm -hmm. that one. That's the one on the farther end that had not have a lot of people on it. Right, exactly. So, in fact, now the, the one that now the Germans are using, sending some infantry on across, I think they, the Germans kind of know where these bridges are a little bit better than that. Oh, the yeah. Russians. But they're being surprised. Slowly but surely, they're being surrounded. They don't get cut. They don't get cut. If they can close up those two ends of that bridge, they've got to pop a fool of Germans that are going to have to surrender sooner or later. Is there a song like that? Now, yeah, you can see these. Oh, and one of the, the two of those tanks are rushing forward. They're going to go try to take out that infantry. They don't have a lot of time left. There's only 38 seconds left in the battle. But, oh, the turret is now stuck, so it's turned into one of those, uh, tank killers. Yeah, tank killers. All right, all right, my best joke of the night. Exactly. You have a battle with the bolt, or you just happen to see it. <laughs> <laughs> I tried that in a bar. It didn't quite work. But there is your bolt. It's on the bar. <laughs> <laughs> there is your big gun, and it's shooting out some of the larger artillery. But we only have about 10 seconds left on this, so everybody be... I want to uh, thank everybody for coming and uh, for watching. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a draw here in a moment, so it's going to kind of clear off here. Uh, yeah, three, for Germany, two. that is a victory. Yeah. Yeah, it's about. At this point. And there we go. There is a draw. Stemming the tide, two versus one. That is the first of this uh, campaign. We will see some of the others as they come along. In the meantime, uh, well, actually, let's take a look at these team stats. There you go. It's a draw chronology, a lot of different things happening. Anybody wants to pause and take a look at that? That's way too much for me to read. Yeah. There's the your kills for the evening. And, and for anybody who's keeping track, the losses. Oh, just way too many losses. And experience. Alright, well that'll do us for us that yeah, that'll do it for us here. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to subscribe and uh, watch our many videos. Mm. Happy gaming everybody.